I'm going for the beach bum look right now because that's where I want to be. I'm done with this cold weather. I I'm just done. I need to go somewhere warm. I need tropical. I need to see some naguitas and some G-strings because I can't deal. The older that I get, the more annoying the cold gets. And I know some of you people who live in cold weather climate can completely understand where I'm coming from. So I went through my collection. I was like, yo, if I can select some fragrances to bring on vacation, hot, sexy, beach, Caribbean, sipping on something with a shell and a straw poked into it, what would I take? So I compiled a list of 10 fragrances that I would pick. I don't know if I would take all 10, obviously that's crazy, but a couple of fragrances, but a variety of fragrances that I would take to vacation somewhere a hot, warm, sexy, and I can potentially look at something that isn't my wife. Let's roll my music so I can put you on to 10 vacation fragrances that I would pick. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 u 3 b 3 a Don't worry, my wife doesn't watch these videos, so I am Gucci. So I'm gonna start off with the fragrance list right from Rip. Some of these fragrances I feel are completely and utterly designed only for one purpose, and that's vacation. At least this particular fragrance. I've worn this fragrance maybe twice. I'm gonna be completely transparent. There's no reason to wear this in any other season than summertime, and that's an expensive-ass fragrance by Roja, and that's Oceana. Oceana is a beautiful concoction of citrus muskiness with unusual like gin base that gives mild, mild booziness, but overall becomes kind of like this vanillic citric high musk powder situation, which is unusual for a summertime fragrance, but this is the only season that you would wear this. It doesn't have versatility. It's strictly catered for hot ass weather to be on a boat with some boat shoes and no socks and your feet is gonna be kicking. I never understood that. Dudes with boat shoes and no socks. I know they're trying to front like they're wearing the invisible socks, but they're not. How funky or hot do your feet get in those boat shoes? You must smell like six week old hot dog water. Like your toe jam must be next level. Do you like heavy fungal cream? What? Anyway, Oceana Roja is one that I'm taking only to hot weather because there's nowhere else that I can wear this joint. Next one. I want to hope to possibly get at least one night for some grown, sexy adult time. And if I'm going to do that, I want to rock it with a little Miss and Sir Perfect Oud. This is the perfect fresh Oud fragrance. I mean, the best fresh Oud fragrance that I've ever smelled. Pretty much closer to one of the only ones, but it's still freaking amazing. Complex, sexy, fresh, puts a smile on my face instantly. And since the moment I've explored this fragrance, I love it. Love it. It just makes me feel sexy, grown, adultish, and really just boggles my mind still that you're able to pull out a fresh oud with this kind of quality and beautiful scent profile. This is definitely hot weather, sexy vacation time appropriate for adults. Next one. My hot weather bomb, Zerzhov Neo. Oh, buddy. Zerzhov Neo. This is a grenade and surprisingly, one of the very few fragrances that I enjoy that has neroli in it. But it's much more than that. The neroli just adds kind of like a supporting actress role and very low key. It's more of like a concoction of white florals, beautiful citruses, high green notes, and really crazy power. Like the woody base of oud and I think it's cedar in this midsection of amber concocts this beautiful scent profile that's stunning in the hot weather, performs outstanding off of my skin. I'm talking like eight plus hours easy in high, high heat. So this bomb is definitely up there with like the five that I gotta put in my bag. Yeah, sometimes I take a little bit too much. Next one. This fragrance is all about hot weather sexy. London Spice by Fragrance Dubois is a beautiful designer-ish kind of DNA in a very kicked up niche kind of way. It is very spicy, very citric. It also has this weird like licorice undertone that I find really enjoyable. But amongst all the spices, the star in this joint is this beautiful crisp green wet mint. 
like mint that's just been sitting in a jar of water, just getting fresh and lively and greener. It's a beautiful scent profile, very, very sexy. Some people find it overly expensive for the scent profile, and I can I, I could see that. I could totally see the fragrance du bois price point being crazy, but you getting what you pay for. You're buying a Gucci t-shirt, you're paying $7,000 for a tea. So you kind of know what you're getting yourself into when you're purchasing this fragrance. Nonetheless, it doesn't take away from how sexy, green, spicy that this particular fragrance is, and very attractive. So summertime weather, Poppy's gonna be smelling fabulous. Next one, I mean watermelon goodness juice box feel and chill so essentially this joint is comprised of amazing water I mean really crazy watermelon fig coconut vetiver musk amber what does that mean it just smells like fire watermelon sexiness this is a beautiful cocktail in a fragrance that also has amazing performance strictly for the hot weather this doesn't have much versatility in it I'm gonna be honest with you and I clearly have worn this quite a few times but it's seasonal it's just summertime vibes only but when you wear it on summertime vibes it's that casual I'm wearing flip-flops I got my pedicure my shorts are a little higher so I can show off my moose knuckle and amazing fat thighs and I want to be like a sex beast when I'm walking around smelling like a watermelon coconut drink why not summertime is for that purpose if I want to be in my mankini in a g-string in the middle of the beach with my picadillo hanging out don't judge me juice box is gonna help me get the looks that I'm looking for kind of next one peach pineapple coconut tamarindo by memo another fragrance that doesn't have the year-round versatility it's warm weather vibes but creamy juicy fruity coconutty milky vibish a beautiful unisex fragrance that the ylang ylang in here and the musky nuance really adds an airiness to it so it's got some base it's got some body it's got some performance but also has an airy component there that it'll spread all over that coconutty peach vibe all over the place because you're on summertime vibes at points it does give a little bit off of a hawaiian tropic type lotion -y vibe but it's all good fam you're supposed to get nice and toasty can't you notice the vitamin d deficiency i need to take a supplement i need to get under the sun and i need to tan my beautifully shaved ass cheeks next one one of the best performing freshy fragrances that you have never heard of and i won't pronounce this correctly but it's review obsidian pineapple citron cardamom cedar bergamot with a base of sandalwood and patchouli what is that saying honestly i'm getting a bluish kind of pineapple essence with a lot of woodiness and a heavy patchouli base but it still smells blue and aquatic somehow i don't know how but it performs crazy it's a beautifully unique scent profile given by the blue juice you would think it's some basic bitches aquatic bluey kind of fragrance it's not that at all it's quite different very unique not a fragrance that ever gets talked about but the ones who have tried this fragrance have shared my similar sentiment the performance factor of this freshy fragrance is outstanding it's a beautiful scent profile for the hot weather has a little bit more versatility than some of these fragrances but really shines in that high heat because of its performance and its beautiful citric and fruity power it's a beautiful scent very underrated not too expensive performs outstanding obsidian is one i would take on vacay next one i had to throw in my puppy in here because i just love me some purple label purple label is just a star in the summertime it is my casual easy to wear dumb reach it requires no thought process for me if i'm in a pinch and i just gotta grab something and just go this is an easy pick for me in the hot weather another one that performs outstanding i want to keep some fragrances that have decent performance in the summertime keep in mind that in the summertime is when these fragrances lack like they don't have that hitch in the giddy up in the summertime when your skin starts sweating like crazy and you dripping and shit these fragrances is just gonna be on your skin for like three or five minutes like you gotta find something with a little girth a little base a little something there to hold on yeah you can layer you can lotion up and with all the creams and shit on top cool but that's not always the case i'd be forgetting to put my sp zefs on i want to get some color i don't want to need some black bro i want that nice juicy golden red color that i get and the citric sex appeal of this joint just does it a little bit more for me than the bleaker street would i always said that this is bleaker street only the mature version the one that passed the 25 year age mark and has a decent job and a pretty good 403b next one the spiciness of this fragrance and the newness of it being in my collection really wants me to experiment with it in the summertime so I'm definitely gonna take it on vacation because I wanna see if Credo, 
does the job and does it well. We're talking about a Udi suede fragrance that has a nice amount of spiciness here. And that's what's intriguing me about the vacation aspect. It would more be for that nighttime going out or maybe a little clubbing situation, maybe a little script club, you know what I'm saying? Throwing a couple of singles, I wanna smell spicy, I wanna smell sexy, I still wanna have that masculinity, but I like the red pepper vibes in here because it does add the element of brightness that I would want at night. Even at night, sometimes someplace like Miami is still a little bit musky, it's still a little bit hot, so that leathery component and that red pepper in here will give me some vibrancy and some masculinity that I'm looking for with the sex appeal factor. Plus, it'll give me an opportunity to see how well this does in the hot weather, which I'm anticipating pretty good. And last and certainly not least, another one that has my curiosity because it's a new acquisition and I want to wear it more and I'm thinking about it like I just associate and assimilate it with some summertime vibes and that's Contra Alto by Suspiro. Love this bottle. It just screams vacay to me, but it's a little bit more than just what it looks like. Like it's a little bit deeper and it has some bald freak-ish kind of qualities, but it's really a DNA all on its own. It's just easy to compare it to because they have, they do have some similar nuances here. And the juniper clove and red pepper in here just give it a little bit of a different element than bald freak. Uh, this is more so I just want to wear it. It feels like a proper vacation style fragrance and I just want to get more burn out of it. But it's a beautiful scent profile. I highly recommend it. It's a newer acquisition. So I can't say the most in-depth things about this particular fragrance other than I want to wear this joint on vacation and see what it be about. But I would definitely recommend this joint. So those are the 10 fragrances right now that I would choose in between. I'm not going to take all 10. I'm going to take maybe three or four, depending on how long I'm gonna be there, and hopefully they don't break while I wrap them up in a pair of jeans or a t-shirt or a thong, whatever, but that I would wanna take on vacation to try it. I think they're perfect for the warmer weather aspects for versatility to wear morning or at nighttime to go out, grab a dinner, go meet up with some people, do some mingle, somebody like me who'll do a meet and greet, or go sign some babies or kiss some titty or whatever you do, that's the type of vibe that I'm on. So I think these are great fragrances that I would personally take on vacation, would recommend you to at least sample. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart and I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is. Put me on to your favorite vacay fragrances because I want to smell just like you. Smooches.